Guess what? We are getting ready to head out to Dry Tortugas. We have our friends on here, the lovely couple from Rat Cat Crew. Well, it's the morning of. I've already sweated through my shirt. Got to the tutorial. I set my belt for the drone. So How's it going? Still need service. We'll see. All right, we're setting off. Destiny, do you want to get the bow line? These guys have a good day. I'm just gonna stand up here and kind of help watch for traffic. It's pretty clear here, but we got sunset parasail. Me in the habit of just calling every single boat out. Yeah, no, I like it. If you think I don't see anything, call it out. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. All right, so there's a couple things. The boat's like 95% ready to put the sail up. When we get out here, I had the dinghy kind of short tied to the dip here. There's a bridle basically, so we're gonna put one line here, one line here. It's gonna be a B that the dinghy is attached to. Once we have the bridle in place, then the side up firm flow plan. Text Captain Jimmy, let him know. So these are emergency contact. We don't show up in a week. And then we'll raise our sails. Safety stuff. So we have our navigation system. And then I have a second backup navigation system on my phone. And we also have that the Garmin inReach, the thing that we can text with, even if we don't have cellular data. That also has a GPS built into it. So we can tell people where we are and also navigate with that. So it's really redundant GPS navigation systems. And our charts, compass. Me and Lisa have both been to Catholic school. We know how to use like all the, the spreaders and the compasses and stuff. Our main goal is to get out to dry tortugas. The weather is going to be phenomenal. And what else? We expect some wind to come in over the weekend, but we think we can handle it. It's not too bad. I've been looking forward to this moment for eight months. Yep, stop. How fast are we going now? Two or three? 3.6, man. The wind's kicked up a little bit. We got the current on our side, too, I think. It's pretty mild current. What's the fin? You saw a fin? Yeah. Oh, dolphin! Ho oh, ho! That is lucky. I'm like, oh, we're going. We might get lucky again. We just got the sails up. Just poured a glass of wine. Our uh, first cheers, our first toast of the trip. Um, here's how it goes. There are tall ships, there are small ships, there are ships that sail the sea, but the best ships are friendships, and may they forever be. I'm yeah. Here. Cheers. cheers. All right, all right. All right, ready? I'm gonna hide. Drop an anchor. Now watch the tension it's going to take up and, and see how the boat reacts. If the ass end of the boat does not swing around, we have an issue. If it keeps dragging like this, the anchor is not set. If the, the, butt, if the boat swings around at this point, the anchor is set. So we have the snooper line on. Now 
there's no weight on the chain it's on this cleat so it's not going to damage our anchor mechanism and this will be hanging around here since this has the tension on it this is just going to sit loose okay but from the rope down to that it's sturdy and if this breaks it's not a big deal it, we saw the anchor holding us this will hold us so now I'm going to go set an anchor alarm before I forget. I'm going to mark this GPS coordinate, and if we move more than 200 feet, it'll do a loud-ass annoying alarm and wake me up in the middle of the night. Sweet. If we do drag, we got to fire up the engine, and then we have a jetty behind us. So that's Probably. Where, uh, yeah, see where the water ha changes color right there? That's where the water depth changes, too. Yay, we made it! Yes. <laughs> go team! This is awesome. Go crew! Good job, guys. Be mindful there will be a little bit of current taking you away from the yes. back of the boat. But... Yeah, there, there's not much sun left. I might just be in and out. Yeah, same. It's going to be my shower. Do you guys want to run this off? After some sailing around yesterday, we settled on Boca Grande to anchor overnight. We just saw sea turtles out here. It was humongo. Gosh, I don't know, maybe three feet wide? Oh, it looks like another one over there. Anyways, we just left Boca Grande about an hour ago. We did something really amazing, and it was our first time doing it. We sailed off the anchor. All right, everybody ready? Coming off the locks with the out hole and the main sheet. Talk to me, Lisa. Where you at? Yeah. All right, release the sheet. Release the sheet. Reel up, reel. Let's slack this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, lift it up. Yep. All right, we have one out of momentum. We're doing good. Getting under a little bit. All right, reel. I'm just trying to reduce power. Yeah, exactly. Just. All right, all right Durs, let's put the sail away right now. continuing west and heading over to Marquesas. And on the way there, we've seen quite a few sea turtles. They're like kind of dotting around out here. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see that one. There's one off in the distance. Matt was saying there might be a ledge right there where they're going around and finding some jellyfish to snack on. And, oh, hope I got that. We're gonna go to Marquesas, anchor there the night, and then it's off to the lighthouse. You guys wanna hear my dolphin call? Yeah. Here, dolphin! <laughs> Look, it works, hey. they're coming. It fucking works! Hey. Hey. Meow, meow, meow. Very careful heading up there. Yeah, go to the left side. Make sure to hold on as you head up. Us. Oh my gosh. Hello, dolphin. Okay, right. so we're on break. Right. Now the rat cat crew is in charge of sailing by Felicia. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna head up further into the wind. So that didn't really help. <laughs> Did we gain any speed? No. We lost speed. Oh no. I think that the current is turning against us. I'm gonna let back out a little bit on the trap where I think we can get a... It's a fun problem to figure out. Very Vicky. technical with the light wind. It is. There's a 
to a fan of that pretty good. We caught our first crab trap. The current switched, and uh, the current switch, we kind of weren't really sailing as quick as we needed to, so we snagged one. I'm gonna go clear it. Here's how you get rid of a crab trap in the Florida Straits. So I sailed us onto the anchor last night. We're gonna let my buddy Durs sail us onto the anchor tonight. Excited? Thursday and we're heading to the lighthouse.